Hello. What you're looking at right now, I painted this a few years ago. These are my passions. I have a passion for my family worshiping God. I have a passion for music. I have a passion to worship God in His splendor. I have a passion for the north gate of heaven, the kingdom of God being advanced. I have a passion for the mountains. That's Mount Adams. I have a passion for my family. That's my, the house on Batali Road where I grew up. I have a passion for the mission field. There's a, right there, a passion for the mission. That's the Philippines. I painted into there. I have a passion for the ocean, the waves of the ocean. What are the passions of your life? What is it that you're most passionate about? You see that picture right there? That's a picture of my bride. I am passionate for her. This right over here, that's a bustle. My grandmother would wear that on her back when she would dance when we were younger. I'm passionate about my family. I am passionate about eagles. See those eagles? I can soar on the wings of eagles. Right there, that's a carving. A guy carved that in the Philippines. It's an Indian sculpture. I'm passionate about the things in the creation of God. What are you most passionate about? I am convinced, I am absolutely convinced that when my passion for the presence of God outweighs my passion for everything else, then I will truly experience what God has in store for my life. When my passion for His presence outweighs my passion for everything else, that's what we need. That's what I need, that's what you need. So no matter how passionate you are about everything else, as good and glorious as they might be, may none of them outweigh your passion for the presence of God. But when that happens, then you watch, you wait, and you will experience the true divine destiny of God in your life. Amen.